So I heard you want to farm Vela's Labyrinth? Today's exotic armor is legs. I have builds I recommend each class run in the description. Let's hop right into it. All right, so hopping right into the Lost Sector, I just wanna say guys, this first section of it is so difficult because as you just saw, we just pressed a button. Now you need to press three more of those buttons and they spawn in random locations. It is RNG, so that can be quite annoying, but once you get the hang of the locations, it becomes very, very easy. So we're gonna pop our rift down. That's giving us so many different benefits due to the build that we're running. Gonna stun this barrier champion gonna switch to our heavy and that is gonna be enough to absolutely fry it due to all the buffs that we have going on now the first button is gonna be in this room every single time guys now proceeding forward you're gonna turn left always gonna be this wave of thrall that you're gonna have to take care of they die really really easily I mean obviously they are thrall after all now typically the button is in that room that I just looked in with the thrall that we're spawning or it's in this blue room Taking care of that, we're going to proceed forward. There are a couple other locations that it can spawn. This time, it was right there, right behind us. Another location it can spawn is in this room that we just ran through with the with the little trap on the bottom. And then after you clear all those buttons, you're going to run through that hallway that we're currently going through. And now we're actually in the Lost Sector. Going to pop our Rift down for the 25% damage resistance, 17% damage bonus and our turrets and so much more other so much so many other things because this build is amazing and we're just gonna melt this barrier champion from that point gonna switch around our guns because we had to reload and just like that we have taken care of the barrier champion now guys in this section you're definitely gonna want some arc resistance and concussive dampener on your chest because if you don't get that barrier by surprise and just start hitting it before it hits you it's gonna absolutely melt you with its boomer shots because there's really no cover like it's just it like this cave if you're sitting in this cave you're gonna have a hard time so you're gonna want to melt that barrier champion as fast as possible so it starts getting defensive putting up its shield because if it's on the offensive you just never win that now keep in mind we do need to stun unstoppable champions and the way we are going to do that is with our flashbang grenade now moving upstairs there's going to be a barrier champion now this barrier champion guys you're going to need to stun it as fast as possible why because in a few seconds there's going to be an unstoppable champion that pushes us from the right side now you'll know that you're taking too long on this barrier if you're seeing these thralls see i'm seeing the thrall right now even i took too long to take care of this barrier champion this means that the unstoppable is on its way and as you see we are taking damage from the unstoppable now i'm going to leave that in the video because that is relevant information guys you're going to have to melt that barrier very very fast otherwise you're going to eat damage from that unstoppable now that we've taken care of the barrier champion, we are going to proceed forward. We're going to throw our flashbang grenade at the unstoppable. And at this point in time, we're going to do some heavy damage and pop our super to absolutely melt it. Because this is our only form of stunning the unstoppable champion with the build that we are running today. Honestly, I could have run a hand cannon, but... I wanted to run the cold heart trace rifle and you're just not going to pass up barrier, you know what I mean? So we have to make some sacrifices there, but it's not too big of a deal. So at this point in time, we're just going to use our machine gun to take care of these knights. Boom, they're dead. Really, really easy stuff. Now we're going to proceed forward. We are almost in the boss section. Now there's going to be a shrieker right there. As you can see, he's right in the sky. So we're going to activate it, going to grab its attention. Now guys, when I was recording this, I didn't know. You can actually just shoot the shrieker and then it will open up its eye. You don't need to run up like that, but you live and you learn. And I'm able to pass on the information to you guys, which is excellent. So we're just going to pop our rift for that 17% damage bonus, fry the shrieker, and now we can proceed forward. Now in this next section, we're going to need to clear out three waves of ads before the boss actually spawns i always like to start with the wizard because again th those wizards they just do some heavy damage so guys you're gonna want that arc resistance mod specifically for those wizards and the hive boomer because obviously they'll just do some crazy damage as you can see all of the ads are blinded again due to the build that we are running absolutely ridiculous stuff if i <laughs> there's just not enough time to explain everything going on to you guys but definitely gonna want to check that out now at this point in time we don't want to leave our rift because that is the entire point of the build just camping in our rift so we are waiting for the wizard to peek us there it goes it peeks us and we are able to absolutely fry it due to the heavy damage that cold heart does when combined with the build now we're going to pop our rift down again and we're just going to melt the 
the rest of the ads with our heavy and with our special and we're just going to keep doing this until the boss actually spawns you see there's a knight running up on us there's going to be two knights actually but they just die so damn quickly due to the arc surge lasting all season and the build we're running guys that is our third heavy brick like this is absolutely ridiculous we're just getting crazy heavy right now but we definitely take those definitely going to make this run very very fast relatively speaking now this lost sector is kind of you know it's kind of difficult but once you get down that first section with the maze it does become quite farmable with if, if you, as long as you follow the strategies that we're doing if you're using the builds that i'm recommending to you guys then you're gonna have a good time now this is the final wave of ads that's gonna spawn before the boss comes in and for the boss what do you think we're gonna do we're gonna actually just pop our super and it will absolutely melt the boss when combined with our weapons i don't even think we're gonna need to use our weapons but let's just see what happens we have the wizard coming in and there is the boss now we have another rift charge because we do have infinite rifts with the build and we're gonna start beaming down the boss as you can see we fired for maybe two seconds and it lost 25 percent of its hp so we were able to easily clean it up with the super and yeah that's going to be the lost sector today guys really really easy if you're using the builds i recommend and if you follow the strategies here hopefully this helped if it did be sure to subscribe as i post lost sector guides daily i have a goal of hitting 10,000 subscribers by the end of the summer and if everyone watching this subscribed we could hit it in a week which would be crazy either way thanks for watching and i'll see you tomorrow for the next video peace